Welcome back to the Front Commanders. So those of you that have been with us since the beginning of this fight know exactly what's going on. And that is that essentially we're trying to free our army in Budapest, uh, the capital of Hungary here, but unfortunately the snow is stopping us from doing any movement whatsoever. And I mean any movement. So we're pretty much really hoping for that snow to clear up. It's the only way we can get any reinforcements. Hell, it's the only way we can even do any basic attacks here. Uh, even our HQs are grounded with this blizzard. So let's go ahead and turn it over to the Soviets once more. I believe this is going to be turn five of nine turns. So we really do need the weather to clear up if we want our boys to have any chance of escaping what is going to be just a very violent Soviet tide. Uh, let's see if it happens. If not... I don't know. We'll just keep kind of uh, fighting and trying to at least hold our lines against the... and kind of see how things go. Testing our um, our positions here. We armies, but they are pulling back, so at least we know that that worked while it did. Uh, the fact that they can move, though, leads me to believe that maybe the winter weather has actually let up. Uh, and we're going to be able to attack here. But you can see the Soviets used bomber fleet there just to hit missions preemptively. They didn't use it for attacks or anything like that. So they may be shoring up for a good old-fashioned defense. Wow, that's interesting. And that's going to absolutely change the battle. Um, if we can actually get some men on the front lines and attack, we might be able to make a difference. So that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, let's get in here. Uh, let's see if we can move. Not even a bit. <laughs> okay, so we're still totally stuck. Um, what we can do is continue harassing these units over here. Try and hurt our Soviet units are kind of in our way. Um, but not a lot of them are getting too close. So this is, of course, uh, concerning to say the least. Even if we just move with our infantry here, they cannot move. They won't be making any pushes in this area. Uh, but again, where we can attack, we certainly will. So actually, we managed to kill 694 enemies for a loss of only 209. I'll take those odds, although it would be nice to, for it to be even better. And over here, we will start attacking these Soviet units. Because our only chance at victory here, I think, is if the winter weather actually lets up. Which, let's face it, I don't even know if that's going to happen. But if it does let up, we might be able to push through Kaposvad here to the south and liberate our men this way. Uh, another thing <clears throat> I want to do here is grab all these units and go for a full attack. We can also grab these guys on this Soviet group. All right. There's still a lot of men lost on boat 90 on our side, 514 on their side. Not exactly what I would call a victory uh, by any stretch of the imagination. But that's going to be it. And as you can see, we've even got SS armored units here. That would be so helpful. We've got an entire Tatra Panzer regiment here. We just can't get them to the front lines. Uh, I am looking for weak points here too, but there's really no point in breaking through the north. Number one, it's quite far from Budapest, and number two, there's a river here that's going to stop us from pretty much being able to get across. So I'm just hoping that these Hungarian border guard divisions and our mountain troops, our Gebesegers, can actually hold on. I'm not sure they can. I'm just looking to see if there are any other attacks of opportunity here we could make. If we could get in here, we certainly could, but since we can't, I think I'm going to call it as an end turn here. Yep, let's do it. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can do some bombing runs. Uh, and actually, I'll try and hit this unit over here that's kind of trapped. But what we should really try to go for are enemy air bases so they can't hurt us as much next time. Uh, or at least try and lessen the damage from existing units. So I will go ahead and keep hitting this unit. And as you can see, we are doing some damage to the men on the ground. So yeah, might as well keep it going. Why not? Even weaken the guys over here where it really matters. These tiny differences in casualties can really go a long way in the game. But I think I'll call it there. Uh, I'm also going to call in some air recon just to kind of inspect the area. And uh, see if there's anything shady going on. I don't think so though. So let's do some air recon. I think we pretty much know the situation. Yeah. Alright, once again guys, ending the turn. This is going to give us, what, two turns to complete our objective? I think so. Either two or three turns to complete our objective. So, wish me luck. Six. 
still an awful winter, even for the Soviets. And this is why they weren't as aggressive, because they absolutely have the ability to get through even more if they wanted. Uh, and as you can see, when the, when they can attack us here on the outskirts of Budapest, they are treating, losing 400, actually losing 800, uh, the enemy losing 495. They're absolutely trying to break out here, and they can do it, especially if those snows go away. So in an odd way, we want the snow to, of course, thaw. Uh, but at the same time, uh, maybe it's best if it doesn't. Uh, right there, our 96 infantry division forced back. The attacker lost 639 men, lost only 130, but they still forced us back in this area. And that, of course, is trouble 978. Those are the kind of situations we really need. And once again, here, cavalry division and a Bulgarian guard division. Um, but they are slowly reducing that fort level, but 667 on both attacks, over 3,000 men. They are just throwing everything. Those units have really become a kind of meat shield. Let's see. Wow. Forced us back here. Two, uh, or more than two divisions on to trap him and, of course, attack him from multiple locations. But I think now the weather has finally lifted. And now we actually get to decide what to do here in the last two moves. Or maybe the last move of this uh, short campaign. We'll have to take a look. We can actually find out on the info screen. But I'm pretty sure it's either 8 or 9 it's a quick one. It's a very quick one, as this is very late war. So let's take a look there. Uh, losses total, um, 165,799. For the Soviets, 239,293. I'm slightly happy because the body counts are still in our favor. Uh, but of course, uh, things aren't easy. And look at that. We are still dealing with snow. So frustrating. All we can do is just, you know, try and harm the enemy in other ways. And for instance, when they've got large concentrations here... I'm actually going to try to take advantage. So we'll attack this rifle corps. We got a lot of support in that attack, and we did get them to... Re so if we can continue doing that and sort of trap some units in this circle, that's really going to help. As you can see, like this, that is an excellent position. The enemy essentially retreated right into our units, pretty much. Um, incredibly, the defending forces held. We might go for another attack here, and there we go. Got them to retreat. I think that's really our only chance, is to harm them on the outskirts. Actually, we've got some SS men here that could do a lot of damage. I was wondering if we can merge these three together uh, for an attacking force. I don't know. With that X, uh, that typically means there are so many men there that there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so I'm not sure we even want to take a risk attacking these units. When we can actually see the combat values, then we can determine whether we can make the attack and succeed. Even here, it's a bit risky, but we're going to go for it. Good old infantry battle. Uh, we had some uh, air support, and I think that's what actually won it for us more than the enemy did. But nonetheless, we came out the victors, and we'll continue that attack over here. Try and push them right into Kaposvad. But there they actually managed to hold pretty well. And we didn't have that much needed air support, uh, of course. That would have made a bit of a difference. Well, I think that's it, guys. We're going to end it here, end it this turn. Uh, I'm going to see if actually on the info screen um, I can see... I know there's something here that will tell me when the end of the actual turn is. Administration. I figure if you guys have made it this far into the actual video then you don't mind watching me uh, check to see if I can find the actual information regarding the end of the turn. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I know it's here somewhere. I'll, I'll probably locate it as soon as I end the video. That being said, wish us the best of luck, uh, and let's see if this winter doesn't lift so that we can actually get some real strikes here at the outside of the Soviet line. Over here, they actually seem very weak. They have some very weak units all through this area. They've thrown all of their strongest troops right there on the west of the Danube. So if we can force them back, and of course for that again, the snow needs to thaw, then we could save the men trapped in the city. But I would say these men, uh, these generals um, as well, are in very, very serious, serious straits and may or may not make it through even the night. Well, guys, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. And we will get that next episode out as soon as possible.